There goes an engine. That was car 25 driven by Jabe Thomas. He blew all the nuts and bolts out of that Chevy engine right down the front chute. Locked up his brakes and spun in the oil. That is the way they're running at the current time. Let's go down to Ned. Okay, we have a fellow here who took a wild ride down the front straightaway here, and if he's going to have trouble, he might as well do it in front of all the people. Jabe Thomas, Christiansburg, Virginia. Jabe, you look mighty good. You had an arm full of steering wheel out there, though. Well, Ned, uh, you know we need a little excitement today somewhere when nobody else going to do nothing. So I say, well, it's maybe I ought to do it. But anyhow, what happened, the, uh, the brake, the, the engine blowed, and it just locked the rear wheels up and uh, put me in a spin so quick. I didn't know if it was coming or going. But anyhow, I just wondered if everybody knows what a beautiful job I've done of handling that thing. I, that's the best job i ever seen in my life because I believe we got on the brakes and locked it down the quickest I ever did. <laughs> well, you did a fine job. There's no question about it. We already commented about what a fine job you did. You kept it out of the wall. You kept it out of the front of the other cars and just did all of that excitement there right in front of the people. Yeah, but Ned, that's like I said, that's just like about 110% of the race drivers do. You hit that brake to slow her up. That's the best way I know to slow it up, and that's the way I've done it, just quick as I could get on them. Too. Well, you got your young son standing along beside you here who's going to be driving in some of those mini stock races this year, and so... I'm sure that uh, you'll be telling him on the way home, now, son, that's the way to do it whenever you get in trouble. Well, if, if he understands that wheel, you know, wheel, you know maybe they don't, these young boys don't know what them brakes are for. They figure after, maybe after you done blowed an engine, you can still stand on the accelerator and go somewhere. But that don't exactly work. Well, uh, we'll see next, about the week after next up at Bristol. I think they're going to run up there. And then from there on the wheels for some, we'll see what he does. If he don't do what I want him to do, off comes his head and a slug out of his rear end. Uh-oh. Well, he's got fair warning there now, so so uh, it's all up to him. Jay, we appreciate you coming by. We're sorry that you had that tough luck, but if you had to have it, we're glad it happened right here in front of all the people. Well, Ned, you know, uh, as soon as we leave a racetrack, uh, my friends have always come around wanting to know why I ain't talk to Ned Jarrett. So if nothing else, they just stop and go in and talk to him. So here we are, and it under, ain't under the best circumstances we could be talking under, but Anyhow, we're talking, ain't we? So I want all of them out there to know that we've thought about them, and, and hello to all you drunks up there listening at me. Well, now, I don't believe with any of those out there. Thank you again, Jake, for coming by, and we'll be seeing you later on in the season. Now back to network control. <laughs> uh, I just don't understand how he had such great control of that car. He didn't know whether he was coming or going, though. I couldn't quite understand that. <laughs> well, Buddy Baker coming down pit road just